This is the beginning of Unit 2, and the topic is trigonometry. And trigonometry is the study of the properties of triangles and trigonometric functions. And we're going to start off in this section talking about angles and radian measure. And we first need to just go over some vocabulary. And so we'll start with the definition of array. And array is basically a half line. So where a line goes on infinitely in two directions, a ray has an endpoint and goes on infinitely in only one direction. And an angle is made up of two rays that have a common endpoint, and that common endpoint is called a vertex. Angles have an initial side. So if we start our angle here and we rotate it, this would be considered the terminal side. We could draw another angle where this is the initial side, and we'd rotate this way, and this would be the terminal side. An angle is in standard position when its initial side is on the x-axis, and we rotate from the from the x-axis. We usually use Greek letters to name angles, so we could use the letter theta, oftentimes we use alpha, sometimes we use beta, um, but any Greek letter can be used. A positive angle is an angle that is rotated counterclockwise And a positive, uh, negative angle is an angle that actually rotates clockwise. Right, the measurement of different angles has, um, you know, has specific names, and an acute angle would look something like this, and it's an angle that is between 90 degrees and zero degrees. A right angle is an angle that is equal to exactly 90 degrees, and we use this little square to indicate a right angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that's between 90 degrees and 80 degrees. And then a straight angle would be equal to 180 degrees. And oftentimes we think about angles as rotating. A central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of a circle and whose rays cut the circle. So this would be considered theta. And so what I first want to do is break up a circle into some common angles that we use often, and these are considered special angles. And we're going to focus on degree measurement right now, and then we're going to look into radians in the next video. So if you think about rotating around a circle, and you ask yourself how many degrees are in a circle, I think most of you know that there are 360 degrees in a circle. So if I started here, if the x-axis was my terminal side, I rotated all the way around and came back here, that this would be 360 degrees. It also happens to be zero degrees because I haven't rotated. So I'm going to start by looking at multiples of 30 degrees. And so this angle right here, this mark right here, here, these, this is the circle broken up into 30 degree increments. So we're going to start with, if we rotated from the positive x-axis to this point right here, we would be at 30 degrees. If we went another 30 degrees, we'd be at 60 degrees. If we went another 30 degrees, we'd be at 90 degrees. And what I'd like you to do is complete the circle, pause the video, just complete the circle 
all the way to this last one of th last multiple of 30 degrees which would be 330 degrees and then start the video just to check your work so from 90 if I add another 30 we'll be at 120 degrees another 30 which is right here is going to be 150 degrees when you're on, back on the x-axis again that's considered a straight angle and that would be 180 degrees 30 more brings us to 210 degrees, another 30, 240 degrees, 270 degrees, 300 degrees, and then 330. Now we can, when you are rotating around a circle, and we'll talk more about this later, but you can keep going. If we made one rotation that would get us to 360 degrees. If I made another complete rotation around, that would bring us to 720 degrees or if I went from around to 360 and went another 30 coming around one more time up here that would give me 390 degrees but for now I just want to focus on the these special angles from 0 to 360 and basically one rotation around a circle so the next increment I want to look at is 45 degrees so from 0 to 90 is a quarter of the circle. Half of that distance, the angle right here, would be 45 degrees. So we're going to each we're going to add another 45 degrees. So 90 plus another 45 would be 135. 135 plus 45 brings us to 180. 180 plus another 45 give us 225 degrees 225 sorry that should be 225 and then 225 plus 45 would give us 270 270 plus 45 gives us 315 degrees and 315 plus another 45 would bring us right back to 360. So this is how one rotation of a circle is broken down. We can also, this is if you rotate clockwise, we can also rotate counterclockwise and I'll only show a couple of these but these would be negative angles. So if I went from the x-axis and I went to, to, you know, in a negative direction what was 330 in a positive direction is actually negative 30 degrees if I rotate clockwise and if I rotated in a clockwise direction to this mark right here that would be considered negative 45 degrees and if I went all the way around that would be considered negative 360 degrees and we'll look at negative angles a little bit later in the lesson so next what we want to look at is what's called radian measure and radians are considered real numbers where degrees are not and so they're definitely a very important concept to learn and we'll do that in the next video